Okay, hopefully you picked up on the drill here. I'm gonna read it. I want you to pause me to try it. And then when you are ready and you have an answer, I want you to let me fight. I wanna look at 48. It says Pamela completed four 24ths of her project in an hour. At this rate, what part of her project will she complete in three hours? Mark all that apply. Because it's a mark all that apply, you gotta try everything. There's more than one. Try it and when you're ready, let me play. Okay, I hope you tried it. I hope you're not just playing through. If she can do this much in an hour and they wanna know what she's gonna do in three hours, she's gonna do this three times. For the first hour, again for the second hour, again for the third hour. So I could add it together three times or I can just take four over 24 and I can multiply by three. But three is a fraction, it's just three over one. Top times top, bottom times bottom. Four times three is 12. 21, or sorry, 24 times one is 24. So I need anything that's equivalent to this because it's a mark all that apply. Well, my top number is 12. And for A, the top number is 12, that matches. But the bottom number I have in my answer says 24. And 72 and 24 are not the same, so that tells me automatically that's out. B is literally the answer that I got, so B definitely should be one of my answer choices. There is nothing that I can multiply 12 by that's gonna get me to 20. Another reason why C is wrong is because my bottom number in my answer is 24, and the denominator here is 24, but I need a 12 and that's a 20, so doesn't match. I want 12 24 ths Well, six times two would get me to 12, so that works, that's exactly what I need. And 12 times two is 24, also what I need, which tells me that D is equivalent. I know that one times 12 would get me to 12. So then I do six times 12, but six times 12, ee, that's way bigger than 24, so not gonna work. The only two answers that would be right for 48 should be B and D. Make sure you mark them on your paper.